Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Linux terminal on Windows 11 step by step. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid ID Pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, to install Linux Terminal onto your Windows 11, there are some prerequisites that you should perform. First of all, open your PowerShell. So I will just search for PowerShell into my system and I will open that one as an administrator. Or you can open your command prompt as well. Let's open our command prompt. I will open it as an administrator. And in that, we need to run a command and the command is WSL space hyphen hyphen install hit enter it will install the windows subsystem for linux into your windows 11 i have already done that that is why it says windows subsystem for linux is already installed in your case it will take a little bit of time to complete the process so just get out of this and now hit your windows key button and type here run hit enter and here we will add a command which is app wiz dot cpl hit enter it will open a windows like this from here click on turn windows features on or off basically this snippet or this small window allows you to do different things in terms of turning on different services and turning them off scroll down and comes to windows subsystem for linux here it is i have already enabled this one in your case it might be disabled just click on that box and click on OK. In your case, it will install some files. After that, it will surely require you to restart your system. As I have already done that, so in my case, I do not need to do this one. After you are done with this one and restart of your system, now it's time to download the Ubuntu or any other Linux terminal. For that purpose, look for store in your Windows 11, which is right here, Microsoft Store. Click on it. So from here, we will download a terminal of Linux for our Windows 11. You can download anyone. You have Kali Linux, Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro, and many more. I will just simply search for Ubuntu. Here it is. Now it will search for Ubuntu into my Microsoft Store. There are a lot of them available. We have 20.04 LTS version, 18.04 LTS version, 22.04 LTS version. I'll go with the latest one. So I will just click on this one. I have already downloaded this one as well. So I do not need to do anything in order to download it. Now it's time to click on this open button and to install this one onto our Windows 11. So I will just click on this open button. Now it will start the installation process into our Windows WSL. It will take a little bit of time. So be patient and let the process complete. After we are done with this one, I'll show you what do we have to do next. So we are done with the initial process. Now we just need to select our language. I will go with English. Click on continue. I'll go with my name first. And then I'll go with my username. You can name it anything. I'll go with the same name that I had for my name. After that, we need to set our password. Confirm your password and we are good to go. Click on continue. Leave this one as it is. Click on setup and now it is applying the changes onto our system. It will take a little bit of time again. So we are done here with the setup. Now just click on finish in here to complete the process. So we are done with everything. Now here it says installation successful and it has started everything. Here if you see we have Linux terminal up and running into our Windows 11. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run some commands in order to confirm if our terminal working or not. First of all, I'll write here uname space hyphen r. It will tell me the version of kernel. Basically, this Linux terminal is using 5.10 Linux kernel. Now let's update it and let's see if we get the updates. The command for that is sudo space apt space update and just hit enter. Give it your password that you had set up earlier I will give it that, hit enter. And here if you see, the update process has just begun. 
it shows that our Linux terminal is up and running and we are ready to do anything that we could do while using a particular Linux distribution and its terminal. Other than this way, we have another way that we can follow and that is open the settings of your Windows 11. Here it is. I'll just open that one. From here, go to your Windows Update section. Then from here, go to your Windows Insider program. From here, go to your Choose your Insider setting. But for that purpose, you must have your school or Microsoft account linked up with your Windows 11. From here, go to your this drop down arrow and go with Dev Channel. It will do some updates and it will do some settings into your Windows 11. And after that, it will require you to restart your Windows 11. After you are done with this one, you just need to open Bash into your Windows 11. I'll show you that how you can do that. Just press Windows icon and just write here Bash. From here, right click on it and run it as administrator and you are good to go. Now you just need to download and install your Ubuntu or any terminal that you want to do from your Microsoft Store and rest of the steps are same and you are ready to install and use your terminal into your Windows 11. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.